Moving towards the third option which I want to show you today is about the different cross reference formatting. You can see I have inserted components in ladders and three phase components. I have also used three phase components. First of all, let's uh, look at these things. So these are actually terminals that we used in wires for uh, connecting, for different connecting like um, sometimes we use uh, terminals in junction boxes and connect the wires from that points. So these are actually different points from where we can uh, connect the other wires to motors or to breakers and uh, similarly we can use them in panels also electrical or uh, control panels so these are very important uh, in uh, learning to uh, insert a connector so you have to move like terminal actually sorry it's terminal uh, we will have to move to this terminal and i have to click any or pick any of the connector like i have uh, different varieties of uh, terminals you can see these are squares and round and uh, hexagonal diamonds triangular this one is square with wire number and square with terminal number square with wire number or round with wire number change if you click that one its wire numbers will be changed starting from the terminal and after the terminal the wires numbers will be changed so like you can see in the picture it's uh, 99 then that one is 100 so the wire numbers will be changed if uh, we use that one so these are the different types of uh, terminals so i have inserted the three terminals in my circuit in three phase and inserted a circuit breaker and uh, if you move to the ed uh, edit component i have inserted the component take inserted the catalog data item numbers and the reference numbers it is this is important to note down like uh, in this uh, circuit breaker i have three normally open contacts so the contact have a format we have to enter the uh, pin list like in this way the format must be in this uh, form contact and pin number format is type pin uh, these are the different types these are actually four types one two zero three four these are four types if you have normally open contact you have to enter one if you have uh, normally closed contacts you have to enter two zero for convertible form c is three and other are four and another thing after type we have either used we have either used one two zero three or four we can use any of them and these one value must be in the list and another is pin and pin type so what is pin and pin uh, pin type that is uh, actually these these are the pin types like uh, l1 normally contact will be its first value will be pin number will be l1 and after the second or the ending terminal will be t1 similarly i have another normally open contact i have used one uh, i have actually three normally open contacts so i have used three ones you can see that is my normally open contact that one and that one so these three are normally open contact with this one l2 t2 and that one is l3 t3 so these are three contacts these are x1 x2 i have uh, entered these actually using the l1 l2 uh, yeah i have changed these values like x1 x2 l1 t1 and l2 t2 so it is not important actually in my list uh, but i have entered these values we can enter these we can change these values actually let's suppose i want to change these uh, these values to l3 and t3 yeah map catalog data and uh, this one to l2 t2 and map catalog data and uh, move the second one with l1 and T1, L1 and T1, yes. So it's fine now. We can uh, L1, L T1, L2, T2, and L3, T3 is uh, now arranged properly. Uh, that one is a uh, overload motor overload. You can see I have entered the description from the list and uh, not entered any catalog data. We can also use the item number, mm, pin numbers. O L1, okay. The assigned item number will be removed because there is no catalog information so i i haven't inserted a catalog information that's why item number will not be inserted so you can see it's my record there is no item in my list so that's why i, have, I haven't entered any of the catalog data so i've inserted three phase motor and uh, similarly this is the control circuit of controlling the motor uh, you can see this is a um, don't be confused with the circuit actually i have used these three contacts just for extra information these are not in my use in my circuit so moving from here like i have uh, a push button and a close push button emergency push button that is my motor control relay 
so if you move to the list you will find a normally open contact and uh, you i have entered two normally open contacts and two normally closed contacts i have entered the different format of the pin list like for uh, normally open contact i have these two pins and these two pins these are for normally open contact but you must be sure to enter the dot between any of the two but after enter the three values you have to enter the semicolon like in this way we have entered the semicolon you can see from here from this list actually 1.2.3 semicolon 1.4.5 so in this way you have to enter the different uh, pin list i have two normally open and two normally closed pins contacts sorry i have entered the item number catalog data everything is uh, entered here and in the list you can see i have uh, used I, a1x and a1y is used actually it's used with 13 so move to that one a1x and a1y you can see from here a1x and a1y it is in 13 that is my one value and from here it is three value so this is my one three value and it's one one value that really is a one one actually these are actually cross reference numbers you have to you are you have already learned about the cross referencing so i'm not going in detail about uh, these cross reference values and you can see these are there are two normally open contexts and two normally closed contexts if i want to change the format of uh, these things what i will do just move uh, to the list and component override if i just click check unbox uncheck this box and click okay you will see its uh, format will change because that is my drawing format if i want to go to drawing yeah, that's my go to drawing format it there is a, an option cross reference you can see i have entered the same drawing mean i have uh, entered the format is percent s minus percent n actually it is giving me the one value is a uh, sheet value and the three value is numerical value or sequential or reference value while the one is also showing one and two so these are actually the sheet numbers so i want to use the default values and uh, in the component cross reference display i have three options text format if you click on that text format you will uh, find the detail in this format as it is showing in the list display unused children yeah if you want to display unused children that will be shown here if you uncheck that box your child that child components that are not used will not be shown in the list cross reference sorted by line reference or by pin list order these are two different forms you can uh, check these things like text format similarly i have a graphical format if you go to graphical format there are different options in my formatting uh, graphic font i have two options either click select that one or select this one i have these two options this one is actually showing here that is the my graphic font second option i have another option contact mapping this will be like uh, for normally open contact that is my normally open contact it will be showing like that way so these are uh, no it will be showing no we can also change the values from the, uh, from here by editing the value display unused child components that will also be possible that is another option a separate reference contact count you can see all the details about these things so click that one and table format i have the third option which is table format i can i can see my uh, contact details or cross reference details in this table format display parent coil that is like uh, you can do different options current these are the different table formats different table styles component take these are different options you can see what you want to display in your table all these options are a possible like sheet value i want to give or wire w1 wire that is connected before the parent component and w2 that is after the parent component so you can check these options in your list and click okay now read tag components or uh, component cross referencing these are different options of cross referencing active drawing all let's see what will be in my list if you have any component in this list means these are actually error reports if you have any errors in your cross referencing that will be shown in the list so there is no error that's why it is not showing i have used that one mean i have used these two components for 
my cross referencing one is that one and second one is that one one is normally open contact and that is normally closed contact these are two these two are related to this relay so i want to give you an overview about the circuit first like if i enter the push button coil will operate this uh, relay coil will operate and it will force the coil to be in operate condition uh, that is my master control relay mean that is the coil of that relay so in the next two ladder rungs let's see what is in my ladder that is also my contact of that relay coil which will switch on the motor starter coil if uh, i want to click on that added component it is motor starter contact motor starter coil go to motor control and that is my motor starter coil so but i have used that one with the numbers with pin numbers so i have used that one a1 a2 so motor starter if the relay operate it will operate the motor starter coil and if uh, the motor is running then it will operate that coil related to motor coil so it will switch on the led showing that motor is running if it is not operated mean this contact will operate because the relay is not operating so it will be switched on because it is a closed contact and uh, this relay coil will operate uh, this contact and it will operate this uh, pilot light which will be showing that the motor is not running don't be confused with the circuit actually i have used four contacts of uh, this relay and all i used in my list just to show you that how it will be look like in my different formats cross reference format now check its uh, format list and uh, see what is my remove this uh, change it to default value and oh, check that one and see what will, uh, how it will be look like you can see it is changed now to this form 53 54 these are actually the pin numbers of uh, my contacts uh, a2x a2y that is a master coil for that motor running motor running i have uh, one value 53 54 53 54 that is a normally open contact so these are the different formats i have used just pick another one i have used that one now what i want to use display unused children contact let's suppose i don't want to use the uh, to display the unused children contact you can see all the other options are removed because they are unused kind of contacts similarly move to this one and uh, see its uh, component overwrite change it to default value graphical format is uh, in this form display unused children contact leave that option unchecked and see its format now go to another option which i want to show you is the table format go to component override ta table format uh, i want to show the different table formats like contact mapping uh, I, I can even change the formats of the table these are the different formats of table i uh, display unused children contact display parent coil all these uh, um, options are possible in our list so you will see this is actually my table contact so i want to uh, rescale it just to fit my window click that one and uh, rescale it i want to move move the table move that one select the whole list and move it right here so this is the list of my that relay coil master coil control relay you can see this is my master control relay it is a parent component and it it's showing the different contacts to normally open contact and to normally close contacts it is unused you can see it is unused the third option is just move to this one and uh, change its format to that option check this one and define columns let's suppose i want to add these values also sheet values all these things are possible you can work on these uh, just scale it and uh, move the circuit select from a corner all the block will be selected and insert it right here so 
this is my CR2 relay that is CR1 so these are the different uh, forms of uh, cross referencing if you move to your drawing format so that is our uh, from here we can also change the different formats like we can uh, add the text format graphical format or whatever you want to and from this list you will see the fan in fan out different styles these are actually four styles with different orientations the orientations are not showing in the preview but uh, actually we have four orientations that we have already discussed in the previous lecture these are the four different arrow styles if you go to the list of uh, the cross uh, fan and fan out source list you will find uh, i want to show the the detail about you will find this thing h a 1 s 1 actually the one shows the style this is the style while that is the orientation type that is orientation type so if we uh, go to the second option here and uh, check the small wire and you will see it is showing h a 1 d 3 one is the style which i have selected and d 3 is actually showing the orientation type I mean it is the third orientation type and d is the destination so these are the different formats you can uh, you can also pick and change the different settings of uh, these values also these are all possible you can check these from your library list and change the settings of these lists but make sure you have a backup of that uh, library or that component block so that you may be sure about those things just click the server trace to check the server trace you will find that it has normally open contact you can see these are the it is a child child is a, a parent is my one one sh on uh, one sheet and that is my reference number it's a normal open contact is these are the two normally open contact that are used in my list and that is my normally closed contact if i want to sh uh, check whether where it is in my list just move to go to and you will find that component here you can see it is in uh, it is showing here now move to the other option it will be showing in that way so in so this is a very important uh, function surfer command actually we can trace our uh, cross referencing where our component are connected in which sheet our components are connected when we have uh, multiple drawings in our project we have hundreds of project and uh, hundreds of drawings in our project then we face such problems and we have to trace all the details about the cross referencing so it is very efficient in uh, searching about the different cross referencing 